hey what is up everyone welcome back to future coders today in this video we are going to be building this uh, very tiny and simple javascript project that is going to be a color image to a black and white image converter so let's have a look at it as you can see we have a black uh, sorry a color image right so if i click on this convert button as you can see it convert the images uh, image to a black black and white image right so this is going to be a very tiny uh, very simple javascript project and before we actually start building this please make sure you actually subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video and let's start building this all right let's start building this so here i have created three files and also i have linked our css file as well as our javascript file so let's add, start adding our uh, html now so inside the html we are going to have a container so that container is going to contain the image so image with an id of image and the source is going to be the url which i got from the internet don't worry i will be sharing this image uh, url with you in the description box below you can actually get that all right so below that only we are going to create a button that's going to say convert and later we will attach it to a javascript function uh, which will actually convert this image into grayscale so yeah let's start working on the css now so that we can actually make this image uh, look good so let's do body and i will set the background color as this one max width is going to be 900 pixels margin zero and auto to the left and right so that it centers the content and padding is going to be 5 rm to the top and bottom and 0 to the left and right and now let's start working on the container so for the container we will have a margin 0 and auto same and uh, let's add a width of 20 sorry 35 rm and uh, background color let's set it as white padding one rm all around box shadow the one uh, which i am using a lot today that is going to be this box shadow it's very subtle and very tiny uh, change so that actually makes it look good as you can see we have a slight box shadow right so let's target the image now for the image we gave an id right so let's target that so for the image let's do width of 100 percent yeah that actually that actually looks good now so and we also let's do object fit content all right now let's target the button which is inside the container so for the button let's add some margin to the top of 1 rm font size of 1 rm and uh, let's also add a border none border none padding of 0 0.5 0 0.5 rm to the top and bottom 1 rm to the left and right let's also add a border radius of 1 rm so that edges are curved background color is black and uh, color of the text should be white and let's also change the cursor to the pointer all right there we have our css and html done and let's move on to the script file it's going to be very simple guys so let's get the image using document dot get element by id uh, we have given an id right so let's add that so once we have the image we, we will write a function gray scale all right so we'll add the image and target the style property of that and we will add the filter and just convert it to gray scale 100 percent 100 percent gray scale all right and um what is it saying all right this should be encoded in the double quotes that's why it's giving me error all right 
now the only thing that is left now is attach this function to our button over here so on click and call this function all right let's try this out so we have the image we have the button when we click on this as you can see it converts the image into grayscale all right if you want the source code of this project you can head over to futurecodersweb.com there you can just scroll down and where is that as you can see there we have the code you can just click on it as you can see this is a completely written article you can just follow it and build this project also and there i have created a provided html css and javascript code also you can also download the source code by clicking on this download button all right that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed i know this is uh, this was actually a tiny project so if you haven't smashed that like button please make sure you smash that like button mm -hmm. and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching